Hi there Wargamers, it's the Dambringer here, uh, bringing you a bit of a uh, vlog series um, on a new terrain piece I'm going to be working on and documenting as I go along for, um, that we'll be using for Star Wars Legion primarily. It's um, some kind of um, power generator, shield generator type building that's a bit of a, an oddity that I picked up uh, a couple of salutes ago, um, or rather a few years ago at salute. Um, so, um, it's a weird dodecahedron polygon type shape building. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling on my face and show you and point the camera at what I'm talking about so you've got an idea what I mean. So, down to the uh, actual model. Right guys, this came as a, a MDF and cardboard kit. It was a relatively cheap kit. It was, a, I think it was something like a tether or something like that. But um, I, I wanted to, rather than just stick it on the board like that, um, I wanted to make it look like it belonged. Because I, I figured something like this wouldn't allow the grass to come right to the edge of it. So I thought I'm going to do like a um, a walkway round of it. So you get these 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 bits as well. Uh, it's like some kind of, um, I, I'm going to call it some kind of uh, energy outlet. It's got ladders and you also get some um, attachment bits which are a bit devoid of detail but it's going to add some interest to the kit anyway. So what my idea is going to be is um, you'll stick this in the middle like this. Have the, I mean, I've already drawn the, the lines on it, so it's a 30mm round the, round the board around the entire model. And uh, stick these, I haven't quite decided, I think I might just uh, stick them like there and and, and there, so they're like, uh, and then, because you've got to keep, you get two of them, so I'm going to mirror it. And then to make this interesting, rather than flocking it or something like that, I thought I'd make it um, technological, so it kind of fits in with what the actual building's going to be. So, to make it walk with, I've got some of this um, mesh that I've, I've I thought quite a bit of so unfortunately I think the only way the best way to do it instead of like cutting out a strip then trying to make it match I'm just going to um, stick it all down uh, apart from the middle so I can so I can save that bit for other projects and um, go from there if any if hopefully it's actually big enough yeah and then I'm going to um, border it with um, some uh, styrene strips to make it uh, like look a bit deep, more like more um, refined, as it were. So I'm going to um, go away and start cutting some things out, and I'll be back in a bit with an up another update. Okay, guys, see you soon. Right, guys. Uh, after another couple of sessions that, um, on these models, I've um, gone ahead and covered the the, the pot, all the MDF parts and even the cardboard bits in. Um, MDF sealer, so um, that's why they, they might be, they might be going to get a bit of a sheen off these bits. And I've also um, gone ahead and textured the um, the base it's going on with um, some of that wire mesh, and then I've gone around with um, meticulously with a uh, super glue and uh, done all these edges. So it's um, brackets in the um, the piece of terrain like it's meant to be there, so uh, I'll just put a dry fit for you guys because I'm keeping it separate so I can paint it easier. So obviously this is this part is attached to a um, bit of wire so I can get under there with a brush and whatnot. One more for this bit. So that's not the general idea. No. <laughs> Fingers are covered in super glue bits. So I'm going to see if we can bring this up to the camera without dropping it too much. So I get you give it the idea. So I can go ahead and prime this now with all the different parts. So obviously we'll have a bit of cover around here, and obviously um, eventually there'll be uh, this part here, which will obscure people as well, so they can hide behind there. It's going to be a nice bit of terrain for. It's a and not have. Um, these bits have been separate, so eventually I'll, I'll be stuck down and have it consistent. To be honest, this bit um, took longer than I anticipated. I, I, I anticipated in one session getting both done, but um, that's not going to be the case. So, um, next update, I'm going I'm to go away and prime these and uh, give you a quick view of um, the priming and then I'll and my thoughts about which colours I'm going to go for. 
Okay guys, uh, see you in a bit once it's all primed. Right guys, I'm back. As you can probably tell, uh, I got a bit carried away with this one, so um, primed this with a, a gloss black, and unfortunately I just realised, oh no, I missed a bit. But um, one thing that's really annoyed me myself is um, the glues set under here with ridges and pulls and things like that and hopefully I'm be able to hide that or make it look like it's actually part of the um the terrain, make it a bit more worn and weathered and a bit bit a very a very dirty but I'm, I'm annoyed by that because it's um I wasn't expecting it. The um basically this is actually primed a lot better than my um previous experience with MBF train because that's the first time I'm using the um sealant. Um, I normally been trying to use uh, Mod Podge or and that, that was cl that clogged up all the detail and um, but before that the, the landing pads and whatnot the other stuff I paid the um hey, it's coming from behind me this I mean uh, that took god knows how many coats of, with the airbrush oh, excuse me uh, to get that decent colour it was just soaking up paint like nose with us, so um, that's the good news. So, for those of you um, curious, the, um, the it looks a lot bluer than it is, actually is, but this um, Thunder Oak Blue that I've been used here, I'm planning on doing um, these lines with like a, a red and a matte doing a very um, subtle OSL from them, uh, hopefully, uh, for those not to know that's object, object source lighting and I'm going to pick out some of these, um, some silvers and then perhaps a, a really dark dirty metallic for the, for the actual main body and um, I might follow suit for these bits, so anyway this is going to be it for this uh, little update, drop a comment what you think is so far um, oh and also I've been, uh, finally got around to starting my uh, Barricades. I know I'm playing on a grass map, but one of needed is to stick out like a sore thumb. So I figured um, that'd be a nice colour to start with. So I'm going to give them a wash of um, Agro Social and see how it goes. So I'm um, going to call this one here. We're going to hopefully be a couple of days, be another update, and um, I'll let you know how I'm getting on. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Drop a comment below, a like, and all that stuff if you want to do that. And uh, see you all later.